Within industry, people have been producing hydrogen for 100 years, but there's really been a lot of interest lately in hydrogen for transportation, for energy. What we've seen is we've seen a lot of people enter the market that may not have that, that background of operating chemical facilities. And they're trying to understand how do you handle it, how do you transport it, transfer it, um, how do you contain it, how do you keep it safe and under control. And these companies are going to be on a bit of a learning curve as they try to understand the properties of these molecules and how they behave. And this is something A Solutions has done for a very long time. With our modeling team, what we're finding is these models are creating some surprising results. Gases, particularly indoors, do not behave necessarily in an intuitive way. And where an expert might think is a good location for a detector, the gas may go undetected. It may not collect in sufficient quantities in that location. If the hydrogen's being generated with electrolyzers, normally those are in enclosed buildings that are ventilated, but you want to be able to detect hydrogen leaks inside those buildings. Hydrogen is highly explosive, volatile. It can actually self-ignite. So we put gas detection and flame monitoring inside the electrolyzer buildings. The hydrogen flames are also not easily seen with the human eye. In outdoors, it's almost impossible to see. We put in flame detectors to alert personnel that there is a flame, gas detectors to alert personnel that, you know, there, there are issues, gas leaks, you might want to shut the process down, you know, evacuate people, etc. We can do your process ESDs, we can handle all your fire and gas IOs all in one box. So you have common spare parts, you don't have external interfaces you have to worry about. It makes it more cost effective. 